Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to Little Known Stocks, the show where I try to prove that being boring and doing your research will make you money. Now, uh, there's been a lot of talk about stocks rising very rapidly, particularly over the last week. Uh, I just did a video on Tattoo Chef explaining why that happened. But there's a stock that's climbed even more and that is Clever Leaves, a, a cannabis producer out of Colombia in Portugal. Um, and if you bought them at their lows around 18, 7, 8, 17, sorry, uh, little over a week ago, you're up almost 50% and it's very unclear as to why. So I'm going to break down exactly what I think has happened and why this stock has had such a run. So the first thing to say is that I don't think this is a short squeeze. Um, if we look at the, the overall short volume ratio, um, actually it shrunk massively. And although the short volume has increased, the overall volume has increased much, much more to 2.69 million shares on, on the 28th. That's up around, well, six or seven times versus the, the normal volume of this share. So something has happened here uh, to, to drive the volume up very, very significantly. So news that came out was Clever Leaves Holdings' primary offering of 17,900,000 17, common shares issuable upon exercise of warrants. So they're issuing a load of shares and then a secondary offering as well. So each warrant entitles the holder to purchase one common share at an exercise price of $11.50 uh, after the closing of the business combination and will expire on December 18th, 2025. So um, quite a significant increase versus where it was around $8 to $11.50. It's always good to see that the warrants at a higher price. We, I've covered some companies like Evofen, for example, where they've actually had to have warrants at lower than the current share price, which shows a really declining sentiment. This is really positive, but certainly not the reason why um, the shares are going up. And if you think about the total float here, and we look at the total, um, total shares outstanding, shares outstanding are, let's say 25 million shares. This is a really, really significant number of shares um, being issued, particularly if you include the second offering as well. You're basically doubling the number of shares outstanding if all warrants are claimed. So that's really, really significant. And you'd think that would be a big negative thing from the fact that basically current shareholder value is being diluted. But what's really exciting and what I think people are speculating about and what's driven the price up is the amount of cash that comes from these warrants. So over $200 million will be raised if they manage to exercise all warrants, and which there's a high likelihood that they will. So if we look at their current balance sheet, uh, they're holding $68 million in cash, which is actually a very healthy position for, for the size of the company. And um, total assets, 158 million versus total liabilities of 74 million. So they, they're in a really healthy cash position already. And this is a company that may have to wait for several years for deals to roll out and for revenue to grow so that they can be cash sufficient. Um, but certainly they've got enough cash at the moment to see them through the next few years. Um, and, and really they've got a small revenue which is growing. Um, they should be able to sustain themselves. So what is this $200 million going to be used for? And that's really the big question that we, we need answered. So Clever Leaves raised $14 million to expand cannabis operations in Colombia and Portugal. We know they're continuing construction in Portugal, um, but a lot of that's already been paid for and they've had previous raises. Um, what my personal opinion is, is that they mention in their earnings reports, and they've mentioned this a few times, that they have 1.8 million square feet of cultivation space at the moment with 6 million square feet of leased or owned land. So that's sizable. Um, but they also mention, we also have an option to acquire approximately 73 million additional square feet of agricultural land for open field cannabis production, which expires in March 2022. So if you think about how much extra land that is, 73 million based on the 6 million square feet that they've already got plus the 1.8 that they're currently cultivating. That is a huge expansion opportunity. And for me, this cash is being generated to, to fulfill that 73 million uh, square feet option. Um, that's, that's what I'm guessing it is. There are other options. They may just be 
expanding and, and maybe more vertical integration. They may be considering a merger or acquisition. Who knows what it is? But for me, this is the most likely option. And being really speculative here, this points to a big win of a contract or certainly big movements coming up in Clever Leaves in the near future. So they are presenting at Bazinga Virtual Cannabis Capital Conference on the June the 3rd. They released this around the same time. So I'm hoping on June the 3rd, we will know what this money is going to be used for. And really, really excited to hear because it's way more money, way, way more money than they need to raise. And it points to something really exciting in the pipeline, which hopefully we will hear about very, very soon. So with that said, um, I'd love to hear if you've got a differing opinion or if you have new information. That's one of the best things about this channel. I get lots of new information down in the comments below. So please share if you have a different opinion. If not, please like and subscribe um, and have a good day.